What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what seems to be becoming the norm for developers and that is praising the PlayStation 4. I know there's going to be a lot of guys out there who think that uh, you know it's all hype or it it's all fluff but everyone in China is not wrong about rice. Let me tell you guys that. I'm going to start off with, with Hideo Kojima, what he said about the PlayStation 4 concerning Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain. He praised it saying that he was able to render the game at 1080p 60 frames per seconds uh, per second with room to spare. Uh, and that's a pretty huge feat. Now I've beat uh, the uh, Ground Zeroes little prequel to uh, you know Phantom Pain and I, I beat it on the PS3. I didn't play it on the PS4. I've seen it on the PS4. It looks absolutely stunning. That the the, the uh, Fox engine is something that, uh, that should not be taken lightly. But the fact that this developer, who's been making Metal Gear games for many many years, uh, had this to say about the PlayStation 4 and didn't mention the Xbox One, he actually went on to say that the PS4 is the console that he would prefer everyone to play it on praising the power of the PS4. Now he's a developer that's been around for a long time, a lot of people don't like Kojima, but he speaks his mind, he's opinionated, and I like opinions. I don't agree with all of them, but I like a person who's willing to stand up for what they believe in because I do the same thing. Now going over to another developer, Outlast developer, uh, Philip Moore, he said something real similar about the PS4's power. Uh, and uh, this article is on NowGamer.com, I'm going to throw the links in all three of these stories uh, in the description of the video. Outlast developed Philip Moore and said that the PS4 power made porting the game from PC easy and that there was no need to compromise. Basically the same thing. Uh, this is this is an article that came up before Outlast. Of course it's a game that most PS4 owners have. It came out free with PlayStation Plus. But the game was absolutely beautiful and incredibly stunning. And uh, again, Philip Moran was talking about the power of the PS4 and how closely it uh, matched it matched the PC on maximum settings, which is a pretty pretty impressive feat considering nowadays how much PCs cost. I mean, for a pretty good gamer rig, you, you you're going to be spending somewhere probably between eight and twelve hundred dollars just to be in the range that you need to to be able to run games on max settings. And that's again another developer that said you know the same thing about the PS4. It seems to be something that's that's you know uh, that's the norm. It's becoming the norm. These developers are really excited about what they're seeing with the PlayStation 4. And now we have another developer who is praising it, and it's a multi-plat developer, the developer of Watch Dogs, Ubisoft has come and said the same thing. Now, Watch Dogs has been delayed till May 27th, and uh, I think this is the second delay. The game has, uh, you know, been in, in the headlines recently because it appeared that uh, graphically it was downgraded. And even to me, myself, it really did look like they had downgraded when I saw the last footage that was released. And that, it kind of, it deflated me because Watch Dogs was the first next-gen game that I saw that really got me pumped and excited and wanting to uh, to get a PS4 and an Xbox One. And then when I saw the recent footage, I was like, yeah, I don't know, they're, they're, they're sugarcoating it, they're watering it down, but hopefully when the game comes out, it is as amazing as it was at E3 of uh, 2013, and uh, it's an amazing game. But again, the developers of the game are saying that the PlayStation 4 is truly giving them a whole new play, a whole new field, a whole new range of capabilities as far as hardware and what they're able to do with the game. And once again, the Xbox One is not mentioned. It appears that uh, the diff there are different aspects of the hardware of the PS4 are finding sweet spots with these developers, and they are really enjoying what they're able to do. You know, when you have a when you're developing a game and you have restrictions and you have limits. It's really, really hard to, you know, uh, expand your imagination because you know certain things that you can visualize in your mind. You won't be able to bring to fruition on the game. But when you have a, a console as powerful as the PS4, or at least something that appears as powerful as the PS4, it, it's probably a little bit easier to do it. This article is on GameSpot.com. It says, Watchdog Dev says PS4 is so powerful that it gave us a chance to dream. 
Ubisoft animation director praises Sony's PlayStation 4 saying it allowed the developer to build a new type of game. The PlayStation 4 affords developers almost an unlimited memory budget, allowing them to cre create a richly detailed and immersive world, according to Watch Dogs animation director Colin Grant. In an interview on the PlayStation blog, the Ubisoft developer said it's always a pain point for his animation team to run out of memory, but this issue doesn't come up on the PS4, he explained. PS4 has really given us a platform to build a new type of game, Graham said. It gave us a chance to dream. From an animation point of view, we're always running out of memory, especially when you start developing towards the end of a console generation. So the PlayStation 4 allowed things like reduced animation compression and more variety in civilians. From my point of view, it's a bit like working with an unlimited budget because we can't fill the memory budget of the PS4, he added. It's a really nice piece of hardware. Watchdog lead develop, I mean gameplay designer Danny Belanger also offered a round of praise for the technical prowess of the PS4. The powerful technology helped us create a better simulation, Belanger said. The water effects, the amount of people in the city, the quality of lighting, it all brings us a step forward. So what does this mean? It means that the future is bright right now for PlayStation and PlayStation 4 owners. I mean, look at games like Infamous Second Son. This game came out four months after the release of a new console. We've never seen anything like this. I just put the game in my PS4 for the first time. Mind blown. It's a, a fantastic looking game. It looks phenomenal. I didn't see any frame rate issues and that it's just hard to believe it's a game that looks as good. We have stepped over that line, guys, into the the new frontier and it's only going to get better you know we got games like the order coming out and um, the PlayStation 4 has power to spare creating games like this as long as talented developers have vivid and wild imaginations the PlayStation 4's power should be more than enough for them to bring their their worlds in their minds to the real world of gaming for us you guys let me know what you think about this is the PS4 as good as they say it is or is it all fluff Leave a comment, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.